Hey everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for Tower of God Season 3 Episode 92 or overall chapter 509. Sorry I'm kind of late on this one, uh, I'll be honest, yesterday I had a fever all day and was feeling like crap. But uh, yeah, feel perfectly normal today, so that was that. Uh, but yeah, in addition to that, if I just felt bad I probably would have still made the video, but I was pretty much busy all day and once again today pretty much busy all day but I did find time I am finally caught up finally done taking notes for Tower of God screen time so if you didn't know I probably started working on it like pre-hiatus um, I have spent hours I have spent forever pouring over every single one of the first 500 chapters of the series and taking screen time notes for every single character. Uh, so I finished notes on that. Now I just need to put it all together to find out the actual total numbers for everybody and turn that into a video next week. So that'll be a huge deal. That'll be a big video for me to do next week. Uh, for this week, though, I really want to post a Tower of God... Um, collaboration that I recorded like months and months and months ago and for personal reasons that I'll explain in an outro to that video I didn't get around to working on it and then once I finally did get time over like this past month to finally work on it it was like okay I finally have time I can work on this I need to get it posted at some point but that's like an hour plus of editing and I don't even heavily edit my videos but like there, there are worse things in life than editing, of course, but I, not many. Uh, editing is basically hell. Uh, so there is that. But all of that aside, so again, look forward to a big Tower of God video later this week, another really big Tower of God video next week. Uh, but for now, let's finally react to 50509. Uh, let's see what happens this time around. Also, I just, taking, again, Back taking the these screen time notes, I didn't realize that Bomb versus White had been going on this long. It's been like fifteen or so chapters. It's been forever. I didn't even re like on the week to week. I'm just chilling with it. Okay, this is this week's chapter. This is that week's chapter. I didn't even realize this has been go this had been going on for so long. Like it's insane. I had no idea. Like. To me, it feels like, oh yeah, we've probably spent four or five chapters on Bomb vs. White, but no, it's been like 15. Um, so let's continue onward. We do have everything going on in the corner, right? Yeah. Now we're getting this shot of Bomb again. That's from back then. The Black Orb. What is that? It's as if he's trying to destroy everything. A dark twist 11. Okay, and now we're cutting over to something else. Is this inside a bomb, maybe? Yeah, it is. Okay. So is this red and blue Thrissa? All right. The souls that were hiding in the abyss are climbing up in groups. Is it to get revenge against White, who killed them? Probably not. Interesting. Like, it's like those old, like, like old 1500s paintings of hell and stuff, you know? It's not, er, it's to not get eaten up by a, er, eaten up completely by a bigger power. They keep climbing. They most likely won't stop now. Alright. Now we're having infinite dark Shinsu loops up in the sky. What's this? The Shinsu's covering the ceiling like a cloud. And is it going to rain Enryu style? Is it a black Shinsu? The overflowing energy from that orb is even changing the Shinsu in this space. The Shinsu became heavy after covering the seal er that became heavy after covering the ceiling is pouring down. Shinsu is raining. So again, I'm like, just send Bomb to Zahard. Like, he's already pulling Enryu feats. Just send him to Zahard. Who cares? Alright. More shots of Bomb. More shots of Bomb. 
forming a bong and stretching it out. And then with more attacks wrapping around like from before as well, it's coming. And then they start wrapping down into one attack it looks like. And white is still trying to deflect it. It divided. He has to start tanking it and blocking it. Just how much more are you going to pour out? All right. We have white shaking. I've got to admit, that guy now is stronger than me. Yep. Yeah. So again, what's the point? Just send him to Zahard. Like, if, if he can just get stronger than white because he feels like it, he can just get stronger than Zahard because he feels like it. I was going to send a supporter originally, but I lost the time for that. If he gets to take the mouse, it's the worst. I should go myself. Okay, I, I was wondering if the translation was wrong and he meant an observer, like he was sending it forward to find a mouse. But no, he meant send like somebody else out there to play support rather than going out himself. But now he's going to go out himself. Also, something I was thinking about, like before reading this over the week and stuff... Um, is Bomb going to be upset at all that Goon just lied to him or about Prince and Akraptor, basically left out information, um, but also that he is the one that gave White uh, the power to return to his full self as well? Right. It's not this way. Hmm. No matter how it imitates the sound of a lighthouse, did you think I wouldn't find three real lighthouses operating again if I concentrated? Does he think I'm a fool? I can hear faint er, faint sound of foot, the faint sound of footsteps along with it. It's not far. I'll get him in no time. It's over there. Great, I made it. If I catch the mouse, I can go out to the field. And then it's frozen. And the hallway starts getting broken open behind him. Already? Did, or did you think I couldn't find you? I'm going to eat you, you blue ti or you tiny blue rat. And then ma massive Shinsu blast, pinning uh, Nanatona to the wall. What a spear! Crap! I can't move. I was wandering around to catch a mouse, but I didn't expect to catch the boss rat. Were you surprised? You seem to be in danger, sorry. Hey, is this one of uh, Macheni's? <laughs> I literally, when I was taking my notes, I put them down as like Macheni Goon 1, Macheni Goon 2, and Macheni Goon 3. Is the heart, is the heart okay? It didn't drop, did it? What the hell is that translation? Your. Hi, younger brother. Yo, is this, is this, is this Marco Asensio? Do we get to see the real him? Hi, younger brother. Kuhn family. Again, just your Kuhn family. Okay, I guess it makes sense. I don't know. It, it just doesn't feel like the most natural wording. God, that design's so good. <laughs> he's, got, he's got the Kingdom Hearts drip. Uh, I must... Okay, so it is Asensio. Okay, so it is Asensio then. This is going to be interesting, though, because he shouldn't have the, like, data Asensio's memories. So this is basically like... I mean, it's not... It's maybe not their first time meeting. I don't know. This is really cool. I love bringing in Asensio. I really could have sworn that Machene's goons were going to be, like, Ron, Novik, and somebody else. But the one who set free the Hybrider didn't seem like one of those three. So I'm actually curious about who that was and how we have Asensio. And it kind of makes sense because Asensio and Macheni were connected uh, in the hidden floor. So it kind of makes sense that outside they'd probably be connected. But I thought that we learned about Asensio in the hidden floor being like the leader of a faction. So I guess it's kind of interesting if he's working for Macheni or maybe Macheni's just allowing him and his faction in here to wreak havoc or do their sort of own plans. Either way, it's really, really interesting throwing him in here. I was wondering who would take 
the Nanatona fight because I really didn't expect Kun to take it because that's not really the kind of character Kun is. Um, so yeah, I like all of that. As for the Bomb and White stuff, I'm never in any series that I have read or am going to read, I'm never going to find it particularly fun or compelling for the main character to just be like, yes, I am God now, I am super strong and nothing matters. Um, it's why a lot of shonen, when they reach a certain point, it's like, um, I hate to compare it to Naruto of all things, but comparing it to Naruto, once you reach a certain point, it's like, he's, he's ninja Jesus. Like, there's no way anybody can stand up to him. There's no way there can be any sense of, like, tension or anything like that. And I know that's something that everybody talks about a lot late lately. And it's the same with Bomb. Like, of course he's an irregular, but you can still write irregulars as having dangers and struggles, but, um, just having Bomb respond to a potential danger or struggle by being like, okay, I'm godly strong now, and now I can win. It's like, okay, like like I've been saying for the past few weeks, like, just send him to Zahar to finish up the story, because it's like, there's no point, anything between now and Zahar is filler if Bomb can just get stronger because he feels like it. Um, if, like, if he does this here... There's no reason at all, narratively, to believe he can't just go up against Sahard, and if Sahard comes close to killing him, or even kills him, we don't know if the, like, god power can resurrect him or not, he goes up against Sahard, Sahard beats him, Bomb just, re or, like, revives again, becomes godly strong, beats Sahard. I have no reason to believe that right now Bomb cannot beat Sahard. That's where I stand. Where I stand right now, Bomb can beat Zahard. That's my power scaling. Um, I will stick by that current Bomb beats Zahard. Because if he can just pull out a power-up to beat White, he can, there is no reason to believe he can't, pull out a power-up to beat Zahard. Like, even now, I still don't feel like this is Bomb using everything that's in his current potential. So if he can do this to White here, not even using everything in his current potential, not even growing a few years from now, he can beat Zahard right now. Um, we could have him beat Zahard, we could end the series, like, in a few chapters if we wanted. Um, that's where I feel with Bomb. So, uh, yeah, I I guess that's it. The Kuhn stuff is really, really interesting. The Bomb and White stuff is still suffering from the same problems that most of the Bomb stuff since Last Station has suffered from. Or even, even arguably Floor of Death, but Floor of Death really, in hindsight, there weren't there were, like, hit-and-miss things about it, but then we got into Hidden Floor, and Hidden Floor was great. Um... So yeah, the bomb stuff is still struggling from the same things that the bomb stuff always struggles with, uh, or at least has for like the back half of the series. Um, but the Kuhn stuff is really interesting, and I want to know who the other two are. Uh, but either way, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We have got, like I said, another big Tower of God video this week, another one next week, uh, in addition to the normal reactions and everything. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, uh, tell me what you thought of this chapter, my thoughts and reaction, um, follow on Twitter if you want, if you want to link to the Discord server, it is free and open for anyone, and if you would like to, sorry, I'm like randomly losing my train of thought here, um, if you would like to, wow, wow, what is going on with my brain? Okay, if, if you'd like to, to, I can't form words, what the hell? That's that's not that's not a good sign. Um, if you would like to help support the channel on Patreon, it is patreon.com slash Haku of the Tubes, or a link will be in the description. Either way, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.